Come guys, come. Come another weekly vlog yo i am dressed and ready i had to go to this polo event thingy and i've never been to a polo tournament before so this is a first but um i am completely dressed let me show you guys what i'm wearing so i have this long flowy dress that i got from shop new level and then i have my every my go-to um <laughs> boxy heels that I've, i bought from aliexpress and whatever and then i am blinked up in the earrings because i might get irritated by it so i'm gonna pair all don't mind my purse but i'm gonna pair it to this caution bag um there's some things i'm just gonna go and keep in my back in my car for emergencies so yeah hey, hey guys yeah oh sorry hey guys it's been a while um i just really watch me <laughs> what is the point so guys, we've arrived at the event. Y'all, if I, if we didn't put Google Map, I'd have gone the wrong way because I had a different kind of imagination where this place is supposed to be. Besides the point, let's go. We are three, four hours late. <laughs> the, the event started um at twelve. It's what time? It's like four, right? Yeah, almost four. Yeah, it's almost four. So. Um, this is exciting. This is fun. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Let's go. Yay. I don't know if I should wear a hat or not. Why? I just wear the sunglasses. You can wear the sunglasses. Yo, people out here are hot. I need Foin. to stop saying that. Foin. Foin people. people. Y'all stay somewhere. Like, you guys stay here. Okay. Terrible angle. Just hold. Yeah, no, just. just hold for two seconds and wear what I want to wear. Oh, time Thank you. That looks good. Right, yes. I want okay, you need Niki Teremka. The the ponytail, the low ponytail you have. Oh. Ni fungue. Mm-hmm. Oh, she let on a fungu kai from a fungua. Let me see fungue. Yeah. Why are you closing? I have no idea. Niki kusimu. Oh, I have a hairstyle bafo. Oh. Because I have a hairstyle bafo. Move this way. What do you think? Yes. I wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go steal some money. Let's go make some money. Okay, I've got some butter to put it. Oh. Come guys, we go. <laughs> Come guys, we go. <laughs> I want to leave them in the car. <laughs> like, um, so I forgot to call you to the event, but this is what happened. Ooh, the breeze, it strips me. <laughs> the better, the more money we get. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. Time out. Yeah. I'm loaded. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I'm loaded. Yeah. For everyone okay. in the event. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just for me. It gets heavy. Yeah, the shark on my phone got okay. I can't lock the car. I decided on this back one because it has a statement. Two, because um, it fits a lot of stuff inside. Thanks.
Hello! Like, first of all, the one thing that woke me up before my alarm, um, I don't think I ever told you guys, but we live next to a school, right? And since we moved in, schools have been closed. So I just didn't know, like, you know, no one knows, like, we don't know life with the school running, right? So today morning, I woke up in shock. There was a lot of loud people talking, there was a lot of movement, there was a lot of stuff. Before it clicked, it's the school, it took a while. It took a while. You know, it's the first day back in school after a very long holiday, trying to organize their lockers and get themselves together and talk to your friends. It was hectic. It was loud. So I ended up just waking up. I can't even go back to bed because that was just too loud. So I had put out my workout clothes last night. And the plan was to wake up and do a spin cycle class, right? But then today morning I had this, I don't know, I had this feeling, you know, take a walk, you know? Walks are very, like, I don't know, they're very relaxing. So I went for a walk, a 14 minutes walk just around the estate. And all I have to say is, it's very like when school get like schools are back we have like a thousand schools in the estate so there's like a thousand cars or five thousand cars every morning 
dropping their kids or whatever so it's very busy because there were internationals right here so it was very busy besides the point i'm exhausted oh today the plan today is actually very intense i don't have any plans to leave the house so i'm not gonna get ready or anything not gonna do my makeup not gonna do none of that i just wanna curl my hair properly although i wanna braid this damn hair like i wanna have it braided because i'm tired i'm tired of combing my hair and growth is kind of coming in so i don't know i want to have it braided just so the growth can come in perfectly because i always keep my braids up for like a month so i don't know maybe within the week probably but today i am focusing on my closet so i've been neglecting it but it's kind of hard to find my clothes for example I have searched everywhere, well not really properly, but the sports bra that goes with this top, I don't have it. So I have to wear a terrible one. Thank God I was just taking a walk. It, it was just, you know, a simple walk, just fast walking to, I just realized I like listening to like cat walkie like videos, not videos, but like movie m music for me for my walk. I don't know why, but it's a thing. So right now I want to take a shower. It's about 8.30. I want to take a shower, have breakfast, and then get cracking at my clothes. Baby boy, baby girl. I need to I need to finish with my clothes today. Today. And I know today is cleaning day, so that's why I want to start it early in the day. So I, when my energy, right now I have a lot of energy. So when my energy runs out, it's done. Talking about which, let's go take a shower. And I need to hydrate because hydration is important. And this year we're taking care of our bodies. <laughs> I don't even know how I got so preachy, but um, this year I am so late to start like taking care of myself. Like the first, um, yeah, I'm trying to. Sorry, hold up. I am kind of late with this taking care of yourself. I'm thinking, do you see how I'm telling you this bra is terrible? It is a sports bra, but not the kind to go like jogging or running with it. That's why I need to organize my clothes so that I can get my stuff together. So I should open a new bottle so that I can, you know, drink a whole bottle to keep going. This is half a liter bottle. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm a little bit late in this um, taking care of ourselves 2023. I'm beginning almost like the last week of, of January, but it's fine. I've still started it in January. So my plan, um, my workout plan basically is I take the freaking 40 to an hour walk um, three times a week. And then I can do spin cycle like twice a week because spin cycle is very high intensity so twice a week is good right my walking actually enjoy it that's why i've put it more days because it's just walking around the estate you know breathing in the fresh air getting backed at by several huge dogs that's fun <laughs> as long as they don't get out of the gates but it's fun and then basically technically speaking a lot of people like to walk because i've met a lot of people walking so done one bottle down and um i opened the reason why i i opened this one in the morning and this is how much i drank before um i went oh and for a walk see i have googled this a couple of times but i just oof, i never understand like why I get so nauseous when I drink water, especially like when I wake up or like after a workout. But I think because I've Googled it a lot of times, I just think it's because I don't have any nutrients in me. Whoo! There's a moment I actually puked, like actually literally puked. So I'm gonna sit here for like two minutes to just make everything settle so that I don't actually puke. And then um, we start the day. Today is long. I think it's just because I have to do a lot of um, organizing and I'm not into it, but I have to be into it because I have to accomplish it, period. They, I don't have any other choice. I don't have no other choice. Um, it's, I've been filming it actually, but I've only like organized my closet one day. So I have it filmed and yeah, so I wanna 
filmed the second part well it's the same video but you know the second part oh and then i have to edit um chit chat nini uh becoming her episode two i have to edit it because it goes up tomorrow and yeah oh guys let's talk about the event i went to on saturday here's it to y'all okay i just realized i need to overcome one fear for me to be able to be better as a content creator and that's like my fear of filming in public i realized i have it like intensively like i don't know i think i'm just still kind of new to this so it's a little bit um difficult for me to adapt but uh you know i was not really like terrified but like embarrassed i don't know why and there was a lot of like influences there but most of them you know it's just you know little videos um with their phones and everything so i don't know y'all i think i really need to overcome that fear but i did get some um i did get some clips in i think so so yeah but here's the thing okay that day first of all i think i have found the perfect events for me like it was so chilled you know just you know chilling meeting new friends meeting new people even if i have a problem with that as well because of my social anxiety and everything yeah i don't even know how i chose to become a content creator given that it's not like i can talk to people i do all the time but um i get a little panicky but you can't see it on my face but it's there but um it was fun until the very end um you know i expect it. it's a high-end event right so classy that it's a polo club for crying out loud and so i never expected any weird funny characters at all but bitch that was there oh my god they were there um especially this one man he was a white old man <laughs> when i say old i mean old not old like 90 old like in his 50s and he kept on hitting on my friend and at the moment i'm like you know, just talk to him you know it's not like you're going anywhere with him the moment we're done with this event we go back home it's a done deal right um and she's very social unlike me so you know decided talking and everything but he started pissing me off when he started like he like he was like a team you need to smile more or you know you look like you're mad at the world and everything he kept on insisting that i need to smile more women are supposed to smile then i i realized a fucking misogynist right immediately it clicked immediately i'm like i'm a whole my cool i'm a whole my cool it's just today it's just this couple of hours and we're about to go home anyway in like three hours so i don't know what i'm saying but you get the point he was so irritating i'm like with your old self you're still like a fucking child so i was very pissed but um i can hold my cool i can hold my cool so i just started talking with the group he had a big group of people um mostly in their 30s and 40s like i told you it's a very mature um event like i felt like we're the youngest kind of people there i mean there was a little bit more i don't know most people in the 30s and 40s 50s too much and 20s kind of too young but uh regardless so point is i was just i thought everything is gonna be i don't know like you know classy and grown up because it was actually grown up because it's grown up people it's like mature people it's not like um it's not like going to 1824 full of freaking children so that's just the only thing that really got me going and then when it was time for us to leave he started saying stop controlling her until she doesn't want to leave i'm like our parents are calling it's time for us to go but i didn't tell him that but i'm like we need to go and then he's like Ati, you wanted to say fuck you to me and nigga nigga i would deport you back to denmark for crying out loud and then uh, my friend and then my friend sent me a screenshot yesterday talking about um how the guy texted him texted her and then he went like you need to educate your girlfriend so she blocked his ass he's he's starting a war he can't finish but besides the point the i think i can go again like i can go back to those events i can um they have one this weekend but i can't go because my social um <laughs> my social meter is done it's done but um they have more tournaments in, like july and everything so they have this random tournament random events at random times of the year so 
yeah but here's the deal i have decided that this year i'm gonna i'm gonna go everywhere i can i wanted to um go to i saw that i saw it advertised uh the tribe the tribal chic i've seen it being advertised for a while but the thing is they never priced it they never put a price on it right so i expected the regular you know the regular money that we pay for like fashion shows or whatever like we went to um miss world universe miss universe miss universe yes <laughs> miss universe a couple of like, i think it's 2019 before corona started yes it was before corona started and we paid vip and was 5k so i thought like this tribal chic scenario is gonna be around the same price for vip right bitch and no actually i don't even think there's a difference between vip right? it's just one ticket right bitch it's 8500 and i was like that's probably the most expensive event in kenya right now or for now or ever because that's a lot of money and i don't know okay the thing is it looks like a good investment but also not a good investment you get it because i might pay that kind of money and then i realize i'm bored by the event it's a it's a fashion show right it's a fashion show with a lot of lined up designers um a lot of big influences go um a jumo and um who else went <laughs> i mean i mohammed i've seen her there but she was a presenter so she had to hype it and everything but i've seen a lot of the big people in like the modeling and um the fashion industry they go there and big influencers so i don't know and then also it's too soon because it's two weeks from now and that's a lot of money <laughs> i know it's not really a lot of money but for me i feel like it's a lot of money for an event that i am not sure whether or not i'm gonna enjoy I don't know i'll like maybe next year or maybe i don't know maybe randomly i can decide maybe i'll go this year and see but i might not have company <laughs> so if i decided to go it will be a solo going event so i don't know i don't know but um <laughs> And if there's a lot of different um, events that I am planning to go within the year, um, in addition to the fact that I have to go back to school, and I the fact that, you know, this year, I am living by force, by force, by thunder, by whatever. So, we've had a morning chit-chat, <laughs> had a little chit-chat, so let's take a shower. Let's. I'm not like, taking a shower with you guys, but I'm going to take a shower, and then I think I'm going to catch up with you guys later, because I do have a lot of, like, journaling and planning the day and everything, so I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. I just finished, well, not completely. But I just finished having my breakfast. I was attacked by my puppies because um, I had food. But now they're gone. Gold digging puppies. So I want to have some coffee. Um, I have three things I need to do. I need to journal. I need to plan today. And then um, I need to plan. What else do I need to plan? <laughs> I need to plan um, Becoming Her episode 4. I've already planned three. All I have to do is film it. So I want to plan episode four so that I can film both of them this um, this week. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm sorry. Um, you guys are on the shorter trap I just don't. I didn't want to carry that thing upstairs. Anyway, it's just so relaxing. I like coming up here just because it's relaxing so I'm gonna what is this why does my dog sit like this hold on look at her look why does she does uh, my dog see why well, it's not focusing of all things on to focus she's gone but um she likes sitting like a freaking frog I don't know why she does that, but she does. Um, yeah, oof. I just carried my books up here. I just realized I am very much obsessed with notebooks. Like, I have like a thousand notebooks. So, this is the ones I'm using. I have. Oh, please, please. Okay. So, I have this, my journal, 
okay i wanted like the goal for the year was to journal every day but that's impossible because some days are more intense than others and you don't have the time at the end of the day and then i have my planning book that i've been having for a long time and then my new um work notebook so the noise has started so let's do this later basically it's the next day because um it's 12 55 so happy tuesday today is tuesday january 24th and i'm just trying to get like a little work before i go to bed i am not that sleepy i had like an hour nap today so it's not like i'm not sleepy sleepy but I can hack to get some work done so that's what I'm doing because when morning comes I have a lot to do um I want to like do like a weight lifting workout uh, this morning when I wake up because I don't know I feel like that's what I can handle I can go for a walk tomorrow because I have to do a lot of shopping and then I also want to film um becoming her episode three because episode two is going up so what i'm doing actually when you know is um 
I want to script becoming her episode 4 because I also want to film it this week so I can be able to have um, chit chat videos for the next two weeks. I just want to do this until um, I want to film as much as possible on this, um, what is it called? On this series so that um, when it's over, like I can create, like I can have enough time to create the second series. So I'm watching Jenna. I haven't watched her in a while. <laughs> This is like a very productive um, day in her life, so it's the video that I'm watching right now because, um, I don't know, I just want some motivation, productivity before I end the day, so I'm going to talk to you guys in the morning. I just wanted to catch up with you guys <laughs> to show you basically the work of a content creator never ends, so I'm going to do this for like 15 to 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go to bed so I'm gonna see you guys in the morning good morning everybody um I just finished getting ready <laughs> period it's about 9 a.m today I had a very slow morning not like I had planned last night when I was talking to you guys I was like I'm gonna do some weight lifting this morning um when I woke up child first I was like if I time myself this early in the morning and I have a shopping to do, which includes walking around for hours, I'm going to get exhausted very quickly. So I kind of like had a different kind of morning than what I planned yesterday. Um, today I woke up at 7, eerie. Um, and then, you know, I just had a, I read a book. <laughs> it's been a while. Like, you remember, you know, I used to read books all the time, but... I haven't done it in a while, so today I had the time. So my morning was basically reading books. And then, yeah, I did that until like eight as I listened to like motivational speeches and meditation and everything. And then I started getting ready at around um, 8.20. I have done the most minimal makeup ever. It's just four steps. My everyday makeup look, okay, which barely looks like I have makeup, so from also blush and the some mascara on and everything. So, with that said, I already set up my filming corner. So, I'm gonna film first before I have breakfast and then I just start my day, okay? My puppies were determined that they don't wanna be left outside. As long as you don't make noise for me for the next 20 minutes. That's the, that's the, that's the deal, right? Anyway, set up, same as usual. So let's, let's get to filming. Hey guys, so it is so much later. Like it's, I think six o'clock. I'm exhausted, period. Um, Today was a very busy day because after filming, Okay, when I remember when I catch up with you guys this morning, I was filming a chit chat. So I ended up posting not the same one, but I had a video going up today at 10, which is kind of my like my new standard time. Like it's because my analytics told me like between 9 and 11 a.m. is the best time for me to post. So I had that video up at 10. But it was the other episode, it was episode two. Um, you guys have already watched it because it went up Tuesday this week. So it's already gone. It's actually today's Tuesday, so besides the point. Oh, I'm exhausted. And then we went shopping. It took hours. Yeah, it took hours. It's a monthly shopping and it took a long time. And then um, I just come back. I just came back from a walk with my puppies and my cousin. You know, we just wanted to walk around, get you know, exercise the dogs a little. Um, sometimes I take them out three times a week or two times a week, but we had to stop because we had like a flea infection, but we solved, we solved it and we found a solution to it. So yeah, we we're trying it out and seeing if it's gonna work. Um, anyway, so right now I'm gonna take a shower and just relax for the rest of the evening. I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really doing anything. Basically, I'm gonna sit down have my gin and tonic, okay, and catch up on a series or two. Period. Ain't doing nothing more than that. That is, that is it. Basically, that is it. So, 
think I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. Um, oh, I need to make an appointment to get my hair done on Thursday. I was just to go tomorrow, but it's impossible because we still have a little bit more shopping to do tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna, yeah, Thursday. Thursday money. I want um long white braids. Um, it starts off gray and it finishes off with white. And I have red hair. So it's gonna be a mix of my head, but I can't wait to see the result. So let's take a shower and relax because I'm exhausted. Period. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.